Hey folks, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to implement cloud security or security in the cloud computing environment in today's episode. Let's get started. Encryption. Encrypting data both at rest and in transit is crucial for protecting sensitive information. For example, a company using a cloud storage service like AWS S3 can enable server-side encryption to automatically encrypt data stored in the cloud and also use SSL TLS protocols to secure data transmission between their application and the cloud service. Another example, a healthcare organization using Amazon Web Services AWS encrypts sensitive patient data stored in an S3 bucket using AWS Key Management Services or KMS encryption. This ensures that even if unauthorized users gain access to the data, they won't be able to view the contents without the appropriate decryption key. Access Controls Implementing strong access controls helps prevent unauthorized access to cloud resources. For instance, a cloud service like Azure allows administrators to set up role-based access controls, RBAC, ensuring that users only have access to the resources they need to perform their duties. Another example, a financial institution using Microsoft Azure sets up role-based access control, RBAC, to define roles such as administrator, developer, and read-only. They assign these roles to different users based on their job responsibilities, ensuring that only authorized personnel can access specific resources. Multi-factor authentication or MFA. Enabling MFA adds an extra layer of security by requiring users to provide additional verification, like a one-time code sent to their mobile device when logging into cloud accounts. This mitigates the risk of unauthorized access even if passwords are compromised. For example, a software development company using Google Cloud Platform GCP enables MFA for all user accounts. This means that besides entering their password, employees also need to provide a one-time code sent to their registered mobile devices for successful login. Firewalls and Network Segmentation Setting up firewalls and dividing the cloud network into separate seg segments helps limit the potential impact of a security breach. For instance, a company using Google Cloud Platform can configure virtual private clouds or VPCs with firewall rules to control traffic between different parts of their cloud infrastructure. For example, an e-commerce platform on Microsoft Azure configures network security groups, NSGs, and virtual network segmentation to restrict communication between their web servers and database servers. This way, even if the web servers are compromised, the attackers cannot directly access the sensitive database. Regular audits and monitoring. Conducting regular security audits and monitoring cloud resources for suspicious activities are essential. Cloud service providers often offer monitoring tools and services to track and alert administrators about potential security incidents. For example, a marketing agency using a cloud-based analytics platform regularly review audit logs provided by the cloud service provider. They use AWS CloudTrail or Azure Monitor to track user activities and detect any suspicious login attempts or unauthorized access. Data Backups and Disaster Recovery Implementing data backups and disaster recovery plans ensures data can be restored in case of accidental deletion, data corruption, or a cyber attack. Services like AWS Backup and Azure Site Recovery help automate this process. For example, an online retailer using a cloud-based backup service like AWS Backup schedules regular backups of their customer data and critical business information. This ensures that if any data is accidentally deleted or lost, they can be restored from the backup. Patch Management Keeping cloud infrastructure and applications up to date with security patches is crucial for addressing known vulnerabilities. Cloud providers regularly release updates and it's essential to apply them promptly. 
For example, a software as a service SaaS provider using cloud infrastructure like AWS or Azure routinely apply security patches and update their service and applications. They promptly address any vulnerabilities identified in the latest releases. Security training and awareness. Educating employees and users about cloud security best practices is vital. Regular training sessions can help them recognize and avoid potential security threats like phishing attacks. For example, a technology company conducts regular security awareness training for its employees, educating them about phishing risks, the importance of strong passwords, and best practices when using cloud services. Data Loss Prevention DLP. Implementing data loss prevention policies helps prevent the accidental or intentional leakage of sensitive data. For instance, a company can use DLP tools to monitor and block the transmission of sensitive data outside the cloud environment. For example, a financial institution implements DLP policies using a cloud security solution. They configure the system to automatically block emails or files containing sensitive financial data from being shared outside the organization. Penetration testing. Regularly conducting penetration tests can help identify vulnerabilities in cloud systems and applications. Ethical hackers simulate real world attacks to find weak points and address them before malicious actors ex exploit them. For example, a cloud-based gaming platform hires a third-party security firm to perform penetration tests on their infrastructure and applications. The security firm identifies potential vulnerabilities which the platform's team then mitigates to improve their overall security posture. Remember, cloud security is an ongoing process and it's crucial to stay updated with the latest security practices and continually adapt the security measures as the cloud environment evolves. By implementing these cloud security measures, organizations can enhance their cloud infrastructure's protection and reduce the risk of security breaches and data leaks. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.